Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Today's video is part of a holiday and seasonal collaboration with some of my creative friends and Jamie and Zeb Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage. Something I love about living in Indiana is we get very distinct seasons. Right now we're in the heart of fall and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. But I know winter's right around the corner and my view will change to something like this. A beautiful icy winter landscape. So for today's project, I'm gonna be using salt wash to create a sea glass effect and some pretty holiday luminaries. Let's get started. Salt wash can easily be used to create a sea glass effect. Here, I've used the salt wash sea glass effect on bottles for a neat summer coastal look. Today, I'll be using the same effect to make some holiday luminaries. To start, I use eight ounces of water and I'm going to add about three ounces of salt wash. The scoop that comes in the 42 ounce can of salt wash is two ounces. If you're using the smaller can of salt wash, the 10 ounce can, it comes with a one ounce scoop. You'll want to mix the salt wash and water together very well so there is no clumps. Here, I'm adding the third ounce of salt wash and mixing well. I was going for a light greenish blue tint, so I added DIY paints, colors, mint chip, and apothecary, along with a dash of Old 57. There's not an exact measurement for the paint. I just used a couple squirts of each color, mixed it up until it was the color I wanted. Salt wash can be used with any type of paint. Now it's time to transfer the mixture into a spray bottle. Shake the bottle well and then test the spray nozzle. For this project, I'm setting the nozzle at about halfway between the fine mist and stream settings. I don't want the mixture to come out in too hard of a stream, but I do want a few drip marks on the glass jars. I'm using these small glass yogurt jars you can find at the grocery store. I love these jars for lots of projects. There are endless ideas on Pinterest for these little jars. I just run mine through the dishwasher and then peel off the labels if there's a lot of sticky residue left, you can use Goo Gone or another adhesive remover to get it off. I then just spray a light coat of the salt wash mixture over the jars. Sometimes the straws on the spray bottle come with a little filter on the end. You can remove that if your straw seems to be clogging frequently. I used three to four coats of the salt wash mixture, letting it dry between coats. Next, I used Tight Bond Quick and Thick Glue. I brushed a bit on the rim of each jar and then rolled it in kosher salt crystals to give it an icy crystallized effect. I've been busy decking the house. I've been kind to big and small. I repeated this process with each of the glass jars, including a couple of ball jars I had on hand. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll After the jars were thoroughly dry, I used some Rust-Oleum matte clear enamel and sprayed on a light coat to each jar. All fine. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine. It was time to take a break and head to Hobby Lobby for some floral decor to put on the jars. To make the floral decor, I just layered some different pieces I found at Hobby Lobby that I liked. Eucalyptus, some white flocked branches, as well as some birch branches and pine cones and a few small snowflake embellishments. I 
I just layered them all up and then using plenty of hot glue and some sparkly ribbon, I tied them all together and made sure they were secure. And here's the finished project. The salt wash sea glass effect along with the salt crystals gives a nice icy look to these holiday luminaries. And here they are with candles burning inside. They would make a pretty holiday arrangement for a tabletop or outdoor front porch. To purchase any of the products used in today's video, visit your local stockist or my website, mamabearblue.com. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos uploading. Be sure to check out the other videos in this playlist for more holiday and seasonal DIY inspiration. Thanks for watching.